Hello guys, welcome to Civil Point. It's Abdullah Maksud. Today we are going to study a topic related to transportation engineering. Topic is slippers, yard, and types of yard. What are slippers? Slippers are horizontal components which connect the rails of railway track throughout the railway line. Basically, they maintain the uniformity of the uh, of that railway track and hold the rails strongly and also they transfer the load from rails to the ballast or ground so there are they have multiple functions of rail, uh, slippers and also they offer longitudinal and lateral stability to the track and uh, they are also used to permit insulation of track for electrified section and uh, to act as an elastic medium between the rail and the ballast and to absorb the vibration of the train when the train will pass it will create vibration and this vi this vibration will be transferred firstly to the rails and then to the slippers and then to the ballast small stones and then ultimately to the ground so these were the ma major function of the slippers now we will study yard so what is yard? Yard is defined as a system of tracks laid within definite limits for various purposes. A system of tracks means uh, this is railway line. So after rail will come here and after covering multiple kilometers, thousands of kilometers or hundreds of kilometers, there will come a platform which will called yard. And there are four major types of yards which we will study in this lecture. Uh, firstly, we will have to sh make sure that what is what is yard. So uh, it, it's basically a platform for storing vehicles. You can say that it will be used for storing vehicles and other purposes could be uh, dispatch of vehicles and um, some involvement um, of authorities. Uh, and also the, it's subjected to the different timetables may be made to subject to the prescribed rules and regulation and signals. So we will study four types of yard now. The first one will be passenger yard. And the second one will be good yard. The third one will be marshalling yard and the fourth one and the last one will be locomotive yard. So these are the major four types of the yard and we will uh, briefly study them one by one. So the first one will be passenger yard and the main function of this passenger yard is to provide facilities uh, for the safe movement of the passengers and vehicles. So main function is safe movement of passengers and vehicles. The passenger platform may be considered as passenger yard. Similarly, at junction or terminal, the separate sidings are provided. And these are provided to accommodate the passengers and trains during their ideal long period. So this was the main function of passenger yard. So the second one will be good yard. And as the name represent, these are provided for receiving, loading and unloading of goods. So I will write down there loading and unloading of goods. It is practically not possible to load or unload goods on rail at every point of, of your choice. So uh, these yards are made known as go good yard for uh, loading and unloading of uh, goods. Good platform uh, may be treated as good yards. And also uh, separate good sightings could be provided at the site and also uh, it, it should be remembered that it is not possible to load or unload the goods as I already said at all, at all places where the train stops. Now the third one will be 
marshalling yard so uh, the main purpose of having marshalling yard is to isolate good wagons we can say that isolate good wagons received from various centers in the order of station uh, so at which they are to be sent thus in one way or uh, you can say other they are working as that as the distribution uh, distributing centers so in practical uh, empty wagons are to be stored into the marshalling yard and the remaining will be sent to other places and uh, this this is the main function of the uh, marshalling yard and it 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 is very important to regulate our railway system there are also multiple features of uh, uh, of marshalling yard which are uh, basically reception siding sorting sidings and departure sidings so uh, if we talk about reception siding these are sidings which are used to uh, receive incoming trains and these are basically made rece receptions of train and uh, sorting siding means it is used during shunting process procedures shunting operations each siding is allotted with a wagons bound for the particular direction sorted out according to their respective destination so these were the sorting sidings and uh, uh, are the main features of uh, marshalling yards now the last one is locomotive yard uh, the main function of locomotive yard is it is basically the house of locomotive means uh, the facilities of watering fueling examining the locomotives and repairing etc are provided in this yard so it's the house of locomotive locomotives are basically stored there and for future purposes the this this is this yard uh, basically layout is designed depending upon the number of locomotive which are required in the house means if you uh, have to accommodate 100 trains 100 locomotives at a time uh, you should have a capacity of more than 100 locomotives at this yard to uh, uh, to be used and to be uh, for for proper functioning so this was a yard and its four types and slippers hope so you got the point of these uh, things uh, we will come here with the new lecture thanks for watching allah hafiz